Hi guys, so today I've got a couple boxes to unbox with you. I already opened one of them and just took the product out, but I didn't actually open the product. I'm going to do that with you guys. Let me turn this light on. <laughs> How is everyone's Tuesday going? Let me know in the comments. So I'm super excited about these two boxes. I've got two. I opened the small one first. Because, well one, it's a lot of stuff that I really wanted. And two, it um was it's a day late. It was supposed to be delivered yesterday, and it got delayed for whatever reason. So it's here today. So first, let's just go ahead and get started. I got here is a warmer that I've been wanting for a long time. This was last December's um warmer of the month, and I wanted it then, but I wasn't a consultant. So I didn't get to get it ahead of time before customers. And by the time I was ready to order it, it was out of stock. So I lucked out, but they brought it back. So I got my hands on it. This one is the uh, <clears throat> Polar Panorama Warmer. I may be saying that one wrong. Whatever. <laughs> it's the one that looks like the Northern Lights and it moves. And this is actually an Element Warmer. I do not have an element warmer, so this is my first element warmer, so we're going to learn about this guy together. Let's go ahead and open it. So, um, very standard. You open it up, and it's got the Sensi important safety instructions and whatnot. If you want to read that, you can. I'm not going to read it with you guys. And then next we have our dish. Oh, this dish is actually bigger than any of the warmers I have. Oh, so on most of our dishes, not all of them, but most of them, they have the Sensi logo here, and they have, uh, they oh, like I said, most of them have this, the number of cubes. I don't know which way you can see it better. There's a five here, which is actually the highest number for all my warmers. Most of them are four or two. So you can put up to five cubes in here. I probably won't put that many. I'll probably only put maybe three at most. But you can put up to five cubes in there. And that's just a suggested number of the maximum amount of cubes you can put in a dish. If you want to put five, have at it. If you don't, then don't. <laughs> but the most exciting part is the warmer. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm already really enjoying this. And I haven't even turned it on yet. So the Element Warmers, so Sensi offers three different types of warmers. A standard warmer, an Element Warmer, and a Mini Warmer. And I've actually got all three here in one of these boxes. So I'll go through them all with you and tell you the differences and stuff. So, this is my first element warmer, and the difference between the element warmer and um, the mini and the standard is there's no light bulb. So, for this one specifically, this is what it looks like. I hate that glare. But look at all the woodsy-like things. I live up north, so this is kind of fitting for my area. <clears throat> and, um... It does Like I said, it doesn't have a light bulb. It has a hot plate. So this plate, when you plug it in, gets hot and you put your dish right on there. And it warms up the wax in the dish. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. Let's um see this once. This is an 18-watt light setting thing. I don't know what to call it because it's not a light bulb. <laughs> so I got it plugged in. Let me turn it on. Oh. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's a very subtle light. It's not very bright. Where's the... Maybe that helps. That is so pretty. 
You see how it's rotating? It changes colors. Oh, I love it. I hate the reflection. I will definitely be taking more pictures of this. And it had a, kind of has a shadow outcast of the woods on here. Ah! I love it. It's actually a little bigger than I thought. I like that it has all this, the black. It looks really sharp on it. The light is a very faint light, so I feel like it would be good for like a night light thing. And it's kind of soothing. Wow, it's really pretty. I'm so glad I got this. <laughs> so I'm going to set that to the side for now. Just push it over there. I got another box to open, so this is a big one, so I'm going to um kind of open it on the floor and just bring the objects up. Let's turn this light back on. So just give me a second. <clears throat> so this is, this box is basically all, I'm pretty sure all, Harvest Collection items. I have been posting a lot about our Harvest Collection because... I don't want you guys to miss out because the Harvest Collection is for, sorry, you can't even see me. For the most part, all of it is while supplies last, so you want to jump in on these opportunities and get some of this stuff before you can't. So I got some stuff sitting on top right here, so I'm just going to pull it all out and go through it. Because it's just easier that way. <laughs> Got a lot of paper. Sorry, guys, the house phone is ringing. Um, just ignore it. So, the good thing is about. Hold on. Sorry. Of course, they call back when Sorry, I'm in the middle of doing a video. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to put the, set this down and we're going to go through the non-warmers first. The rest of this is warmers. So I'm just going to go ahead and set that down. <sighs> Alright. So, I ordered the... Harvest 3 collection of hand soap that comes with appleberry, which I'm sure smells really good, maple uh, maple apple bourbon. I love the decor on these bottles. That's so cute. This one has a little deer on it, and it's got the green and red plaid. It's super cute, and it's got a moose. <laughs> but unfortunately, I actually... Use foaming hand soap, so these go into that. So, that, yeah. <laughs> the next one is Bright Cider Life. That's got cute little decor, too, with the pumpkins and squash and the leaves. I will um, open these up and smell them for you guys. I need a knife. Let's see. The only one that I'm unsure about for this collection is the maple apple bourbon. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about that. And that's the one I'm opening right now. Ooh. It smells like syrup. <laughs> but not just syrup. It smells... I definitely smell the apple and the bourbon. But I, it's like an apple... It smells like maple apple. It smells like a apple syrup. And I just got it all over my hand. <laughs> Sorry. And then that's one of them. That smells really good. I do I actually like it more than I thought I would. But it smells like syrup, like apple syrup. Let's see if I can open this one. So uh one of these guys, one thing of this fits in two of my Foaming hand soap, so you can pour half into one and half into the other. And then you mix it with warm water 
I don't know if it matters if you use cold or warm, but I was told to use warm by the person that told me how to use it. And you just kind of shake it up and you got home foaming, foaming hand soap. <laughs> Just trying to open this. The plastic on these things are really tight. And usually there's like a little bubble here that I can just go like this. But this one doesn't have it. <laughs> Sorry. Trying to do this as quickly as I can. There we go. This one is the Appleberry. I bet this one's going to be my favorite, but let's see. Ooh. It smells like fresh apples. And then this next one is the Bright Cider Life. See what I mean? This has like a little bubble. So I just go like this. And usually I can just peel it off from there. <laughs> but that one didn't have it. And even then, it's still a little uh, difficult. As you can see. <laughs> and this plastic does cover the whole bottle, but I'm just doing enough to get the lid open to smell it for you guys. That smells so good. Actually, I think this one's my favorite out of the three. The Bright Cider Life. It smells like pumpkin. And the way they explain it, which I didn't even notice that on these, <laughs> so I'll go through and do that with you guys, is um, <clears throat> spiced harvest cider, pumpkin and red apple. Uh, oh, okay, that's Spanish. Okay, spiced harvest cider, pumpkin and red apple is what this is supposed to smell like. And then the appleberry is crimson apple, pomegranate, and cranberry. I feel like those are both pretty accurate. And then the maple apple bourbon is red juicy apple, rich maple, and a splash of bourbon. So that's what you would have for the harvest three-pack hand soaps. And then next, we got our oils. Our Scentsy Harvest Oil Collection. It has this little plastic on it. It has the um, little booklet taped to the front of it, so I just took that off so I can get this. Just gonna stick that there. So, um, we got Graham Pat, Graham, Graham, wow, sorry guys, Golden Pear and Nectar, it was a little upside down too. <laughs> um, Caramel Apple Crumble and... Pumpkin Cinnamon Twist. So let's see what Sensi says about that. <clears throat> Delicious apple toasted with cinnamon crumble and a drizzle of caramel. Delicious. Oh, that's okay. So they have it in Spanish underneath the English, and I that's what I was about to read, and I can't read Spanish. So moving on. <laughs> Oh, that's just one. So that's the caramel apple crumble. Delicious apple toasted with cinnamon crumble and a drizzle of caramel. And then it kind of opens up into this booklet. So you got one scent, the other one, and the other one. In the middle, we have the golden pear nectar. Golden pear and crisp apple whipped with apricot nectar until sugary sweet. Ooh. And then we have the pumpkin cinnamon twist. Pumpkin, perfectly spiced with cinnamon and clove. Alright, so let's open these guys up and smell them. So these are smaller. These come with three. And this is what the little tin looks like. It comes in this cute little harvest tin. It's got the three bar, uh, bars, oils. Wow, sorry guys. I'm not awake yet. <laughs> so these are smaller than the regular oils. Just so if you do buy them. You're not alarmed when you buy them, like, whoa, what's this? <laughs> so these are five milliliter bottles. And this is, let me grab this. This is a standard regular bottle. So that is the difference between them. I wish they would make these in full size or bring them out in full size, but I don't think they do that yet. So this one's the Caramel Apple Crumble. And it's also got that cute little harvest design on it. Hopefully you can see that. Ooh. 
it smells really good. It smells like a fresh apple cobbler almost to me. Like fresh, it smells like the crust though to me. <laughs> it smells really good. I tend to actually like sweeter scents with my oils. I don't know why, I just do. So I feel like I'm going to really enjoy this Harvest Collection. This next one is the Golden Pear Nectar. That's what it looks like. Ooh. I like that. It smells like fresh pears. Like, straight up fresh pears. I really enjoy that. I was really mad because there was this one scent that I really liked last season. Um, it was not necessarily an oil. It was wax bar and maybe in other scents. I don't remember what it was, though. It was some kind of pear, and I want to say cedar or cider mixed with it. It smelled really good. I wish they had it this year, but they don't. Pumpkin Cinnamon Twist. <clears throat> Ooh, definitely smells like pumpkin. I don't really smell the cinnamon as much, but you do get a sense of some kind of spice. I really do like this. They did really well with this bundle, with this little bundle here. So I'm going to put that back together. I'm excited to try that. So then, there you go. That's our Harvest Oil bundle. And then next we have some pads. Um, one of these is not in the three pod harvest collection. That's why I said some of this is the harvest collection. Some of it isn't. So like this one isn't. The other two I believe, yes, both of those are part of the harvest collection. But this one is not. This is first day of fall. Ooh. Wow. I really like this. <laughs> I wish I would have smelled this one sooner. Or maybe it smells familiar though. I might have had it last year and just forgot. So these eh, are our pods. They're just these little plastic containers and they have scent beads in them. You use these for all of our fan diffusers. So our mini fan diffuser, our wall plug-in fan diffusers. Our Scentsy Go and our new Scentsy Air Purifier is what you would use these for. I have a mini fan diffuser in my car and I have a wall fan diffuser by the dog's kennels because they have accidents and sometimes they stink because they're dogs. <laughs> Next we have Orchard Apple and Spice. Ooh, I really like this one too. This is really well done. It smells just like it says. Orchard apples. <laughs> and I just also want to say that none of these items I'm showing today I am selling. These are my personal items that are not for sale. So please don't ask because they're not for sale. <laughs> I always hate saying that to people but my intent wasn't to buy them to sell. It was to buy them for myself. And then next we have the toasted a uh, toasted acorn and oak, which I was really looking forward to smelling because I these woodsier scents are something that I really enjoy, like around the campfire. Ooh. This is gonna sound weird, but it actually when it, the first sniff I first put up to my nose on this side. It smelled like butter popcorn to me. <laughs> but now that I'm smelling it a little more and getting it worked up. It's got a sweet smell, but I definitely smell the uh the oak. It's it's really done well. Out of these three, I have to say first day of fall is my favorite. It just it smells like fall. It, it's really done well. I really enjoy that. 
Next, we got our wax. And they're still coming in the tin foil pouch things. So let me try and find the opening on this thing. Here it is. Just hold on a second, it's gonna be loud. pack. This is what they do for summer to try and keep your wax as good for as long as possible so it doesn't get all melted. And here I have the Harvest Wax Bar collection. I got two sets so I got six all together. Um, <clears throat> so the Wax Bar collection is toasted uh, acorn and oak. Orchard Apple and Spice, and Cranberry and Pumpkin Spice. So for the pods, the only one I didn't get from the Harvest Collection is the Cranberry Pumpkin Spice. So I'm going to go ahead and smell these for you guys. This is the Toasted Acorn and Oak. It's a brown colored wax. For those of you who are new to Scentsy or whatever, whenever I talk about cubes, like for example, I told you that five wax cubes fit into here. What I mean is they cut them like this and you rip them apart. So, each cube is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> and so on. So, that is what I mean. Ooh. I already smelt it in the pods, but sometimes different things in different products for Scentsy, I've noticed smell a little different. Just like a little bit. I do like this. It's not my favorite, but I do definitely like it. I can definitely smell the toasted acorn. It's got a hint of sweet to it with that oak. So I like how it balances out. I like to, can't wait to see how that is warmed up. Next we got the orchard apple and spice. It's a red wax. This one just smells so good. I'm going to actually pop it out. If I can, it's really in there. It's also colder today, so it was sitting outside for a little while. Come on. This one just, it's done really well. I might actually have to order more of this bar. I like it. Or even throw it in my club, maybe. It smells like fresh apples with spice, but the spice isn't overwhelming. I don't like when um, the cinnamon scents or the spice scents are really overwhelming and that's all you smell. This does balance out really nicely. So I really do like how they did this one. <clears throat> Next one is the Cranberry Pumpkin Spice. It's in an orange wax. Ooh! I really, really enjoy this one. You definitely get a hint of the cranberry and spice with a strong pumpkin scent, but it, each note hits you, and I, it's done well together. Like it, to me, it's not overly pumpkin or overly spice. It's a mixture of the three very well. Excuse me. I have to say, for these, my favorite is the orchard apple and spice. So that's those. Suggest that you pick one up. I believe for one three pack it's seventeen dollars plus tax and shipping, which isn't bad. Then in this little baggie we got light bulbs. I wanted to get some fun colored light bulbs. I haven't tried that yet, and I know exactly which warmers they're going in. So I will be posting pictures with these in those warmers. I got a purple one. For one of my mini warmers. I got an orange one for one of my standard warmers. And uh, I believe this one was green. Yeah, a green one for one of my other standard warmers. I know exactly which ones are going in too, but I will share that later. 
Next we have warmers. Super excited about these. So I'm gonna grab the mini, the mini warmers first. And this unboxing is actually pretty perfect because I've got one of each warmer so I can show you the differences between all of them. So, first we got the Cut It Out Pumpkin Mini Warmer. I've shared this one a lot. I was super excited to get it. This one's going in my bathroom. So, you got your little... Warning and how to put your warmer together in your little booklet of how it works and stuff. I'm not going to read it because I can just show you because I know how it works. So you get this little ring. Hopefully I can remember how to do this correctly because this is the one I always have issues with. Your 15 watt clear light bulb. Your warmer base. I'm going to take that out actually and talk about it with you guys a little bit. So one thing I love about our mini warmers is, so outlets, um, these don't always fit into an outlet just straight in. So this, these come with this little button on here, and they swivel around. So you can swivel it to how you need it. So if you have a sideways one, you can ah, put it sideways and so on. So that is really neat that they do that and it's a really neat option. So let's get the actual warmer out. So I'm trying to keep this as organized as I can for when I have to clean it all up. So this is it. Look how cute that is. So, first you get your uh, light bulb. This is just the 15 watt little light bulb. And you just put it into your base here. And our mini warmers come with two different bases. This is one of them. Now the one is just literally a screw on one. Depends on the type of warmer this is. This is glass, so the glass ones get these, I believe, or whatever other material, and then the ceramic ones are like screwing. So then you have this little ring. That you pop on over all of this crap. <laughs> And it just sits on there like that, so it's right here. You can see that. And then here's your warmer. So the bottom of your warmer has these two little pivots on it. Like this has two little pivots right here, these things. So you line those up with your warmer. And it kind of just... Hold on. <laughs> this is what I mean. I'm terrible at doing these. So then it just kind of pivots in. You just kind of screw it until it's on there tight. Like so. I feel like it's crooked. Hold on. There you go. It is, it feels weird. Something feels off about this. Okay. So then like that. I am not going to plug this in just now. I will post updated pictures of all my warmers once I get them in and stuff. Just because it's kind of hard to show you with where I'm working. Well, let's see. Alright, I can do it. I think. It actually looks kind of crooked on here, but... Let me turn the light off where did I put the remote. Oh, 
this isn't where it's going, so I'm just going to show you guys. Let me flip the camera. This is what it looks like lit up. Super cute. So I guess I was going to show you. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Get it out. Put the light back on. So that is mini warmer number one. Now we got another one. I hope this is... No, it's not. I was hoping it was the opposite of that one so I could show you how both of them work to set up. Oh, I mean, this is the pumpkin spice and everything. Nice little coffee cup warmer. Same thing. You get your little directions of how to put it together with the base. Or you can just ask me. Then you get your light bulb. Your little uh, vein. And your base to put the warmer on. And then the warmer. Oh, that's so cute. I'm really excited. Also, for the mini warmers, the maximum amount of cubes you can put in these is two. I have put two in. You gotta be careful, though, because they can... These overflow the easiest, in my opinion. So never put more than two because you'll have a wax mess. And for, like, if you get the, the wax bricks... What I do is I cut a, uh, a chunk in half, and usually that fits. And even sometimes that scared me a little. Like, sometimes it's too big, so if it is, just cut it smaller. <sighs> so this is what this one looks like. Super cute. The writing on it, like this line up here, is like a faded black. And then the leaves on it are like a green. And then for the light, it comes out in the back of here. It's got holes punched out. That's super cute. And it's the same setup as the other warmer with the little pivots. So we'll go ahead and put this one together too. And open up our little circle thingy. Go ahead and put that on. When you put this on, you want to make sure it goes over the pivot so it's set it underneath them like that. There you go. I will go ahead and plug this one in too for you guys. Let me just rotate this thing sideways because my outlet is different. This one you probably won't see the light as much though. Because it's in the back and it's right up against the outlet and wall. So I'll still show you. This is what it looks like. Like I said, the light's in the back of it. So this is not where it's going either. But that's what it looks like lit up. We got two more warmers to go through. <laughs> go ahead and turn that off. I'm going to set this aside and this other one aside. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw these boxes over here. Alright. Now we have two more worms to open. I've got the Forever Fall Warmer. This is the white one with the leaves on it. As soon as I saw this, I was like, I have to have it. <laughs> So here it is. 
So on these, this is a standard warmer. Like I told you, we have three different warmers. And at the end, when I open all of it, I will go through those and show them again to you. You get your little warning booklet and whatever. And then you get your dish. This dish is just a plain white dish. Well, that could have been bad. <laughs> it wasn't, luckily. It's not broken or anything. So, that's, that's good. <clears throat> so, you get your dish, and it's got the Sensi logo with the cube number in it. This one's four. Um, also, if you ever do break a lid, we do sell the lids for the warmers. Like, additional lids, replacement lids. So, that's also something that's kind of nice to keep on hand. Because you never know when you might... Like, I just did. That just slipped right out of my hand. Luckily, it didn't break. I have broken one. Not a Sunsy one, though. It was actually a, a Walmart one. <laughs> and it wasn't glass. It was like a tin metal thing. One of the times I was moving, I it fell right off of it. And those don't have replacement lids, I don't think. And it was one of my favorites. It was the first Walmart I ever owned. I was really disappointed. I got it as a Christmas gift from my mom. So let me just, so the light bulb comes inside the warmer, they usually just stick it in there. It's either a 20 or 25. And it's a clear one. All of our warmers just come with the clear light bulbs. If you want a colored one, you would have to buy it. This is really pretty. Let me just get this plastic all off of it. So this is... Ooh, this is what it looks like. It's white with a diff I'm going to take this lid off. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want to drop it again. That's so pretty. The leaves are like clear glass. And some of the, like, the little speckles and dots are intentionally not broken. But this is really cool. And it's like underneath all of the design or whatever, the white part is like a... It looks like a stone. And it feels like a stone. The inside is glass. And one of the other things I like about the standard warmers is, oh, let me set this right here, that it has this little cutout for a cord, so you place the cord like this, so it sits nice. That's really nice that they do that, so the cord's not making it uneven and wobbly, because let me show you. When the cord isn't on there, it's wobbly, see? And the cord is in that little divot. It's solid. So that's really a key thing for you guys to know. Where did I put the light bulb? There it is. So I'm going to go ahead and put that light bulb in and show you guys what it looks like. If I drop another thing, it actually wouldn't be a normal day if I didn't drop something though. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Let me go ahead and turn this light off. Plug this in. Put the lid on it. Oh, it's so pretty. Let me just grab you guys. That is what it looks like. And I like that the leaves leave that little color on it. Super pretty. I love this. <laughs> I do like it off, too. That's actually really pretty as well. And I think this actually would look kind of cute with a colored bulb. I just don't know what color because I feel like the orange the orange leaves wouldn't show up good if you did orange. Maybe it would look good with, I don't know, purple? I could be wrong. I could play with it, too. So let me go ahead and turn the light back on. Wait, position this again. So there's that warmer. We got one more warmer, guys. One more. 
and that is it. And this is one that I have gotten a lot of people asking about. I'm just going to go ahead and throw some of this in this box to clean up this area. This is the Very Superstitious Cat Warmer. I am very excited about this one. I'm not, a, I'm not really a cat person, but this is just looks so cute. And when you think of Halloween, you think of witches and cats, scary, freaky cats. <laughs> Go ahead and... This is also considered a standard warmer. So you get your little pamphlet and... Uh, warning message on top. There's no dish, so maybe... Let's see. <laughs> usually, uh, usually they set the dish right on top of this, and they didn't. I'm looking right at the dish. It's sitting in the warmer right now, which is usually kind of different. They don't usually do that. It's usually separated in a little box. This is the dish, it's just a clear white one, and that one's got the logo and a number four on it. This is actually smaller than I thought it was. I was thinking about putting the orange or green light bulb in this one. I'm going to see how both look. But that's what one of the colored bulbs is for, is this one. Oh, maybe not. This one's got a special light bulb. I'll have to see if I can do that. This is a different light bulb <laughs> than what they normally come with. Let me see if it says anything about the light bulb on here. It's a 40 watt light bulb, okay. Alright, so I'm just going to put that in there real quick if I show it to you so it's sweaty. It's a tin one. This is what it looks like. That's so cute. It's got a little spider at the end of its tail. Oh, it's so cute. It's made out of tin. This is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and plug that in and show it to you, light up. Put the dish on top. And like the, where, oh, jeez. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So it's got the bones, that's where it lights up. Super cute. I like the the detail on this. It's awesome. So that is all that I have to show you guys today. But I'm going to go ahead and talk. So. I've got. A. Sorry. <laughs> A mini warmer, a standard warmer, and a element warmer. So our element warmers, the difference between all of them, obviously the mini is mini, and you plug it directly into a wall. We do offer two different base types for these. The different base types depends on the material of the warmer, and usually, I think, I don't have one, but I believe... The way you also know is they plug in the same way as what it's connected to. So, I go grab it, but... Actually, let me go grab it for you guys. Hold on. To show you what I mean. Okay, so don't mind this warmer. It's really dirty, and I actually didn't realize that it had all this on there. So, this one's got a screw-on one. So, it's circle... And this one's different, so that's what I mean. It's got different base types. This one needs to be cleaned. 
it's right by the door so it catches whatever bugs and stuff. And I didn't know it was like that. So that is what I mean. So the tabletop bases are different according to the warmer. So if it's got a, that's a ceramic one, I believe that's what it is. And then a glass one. So the bases are different. That is the difference with that between the other two warmers. And then your standard warmer, standard warmer, which is most of my warmers, comes with a light bulb and it's just your regular dish and light bulb warmer. And then the element warmer is the one that does not have a light bulb. It has a hot dish. Some of them might be different, but it's just not a light bulb. Basically, is the only difference. So that is all I had to do with you guys today. I know this is a pretty long video. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you guys have a great, great rest of your Tuesday. Bye.